Hello all, welcome to rawtrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we extend or customize a BI standard report. Okay, so let's understand the steps involved in customizing or extending the standard report. So the set of steps involved in extending or modifying a standard report. So these steps can vary, but these are the general generic steps which we generally consider to customize a standard report. So the first step is we have to identify what is a standard report ESS job name. Once we know that ESS job name, we can find out what is the report definition of that particular ESS job. Once we get the e report definition, we can find out in the BI publisher, like uh, what is a path of that. We just need to go to navigate to that BI publisher report definition and you have an option called click on customize. Once you click on customize, what Oracle, what Oracle BI will do is it will automatically create a copy of the report definition into the custom folder. Same path, but slash custom folder. And now we just need to perform the modifications on that particular report, which Oracle has created on the custom folder. So this step is only for the purpose of creating a custom report, not the data model. So this custom report still will use a standard data model but if you still want to modify the standard data model also then what you just need to do is you just need to perform the copy of the standard data model and paste that in your any of the custom folder and then perform the relevant modifications let's understand the high level step of modifying a standard report okay now as i said to you the first step is identifying what's the standard esl job name so in this particular session i'm just considering the receivable transaction as a standard esl job name like where we can see the invoice details okay so print receivable transactions it's a billing invoice once you click on this particular one it will create a set of you know like jail transactions for the purpose of invoices credit memo and so and so forth so this is a parent ess job on which other things are dependent okay so but as of now we just know this is a parent ess job from which other things are getting called right so just see the definition of this particular print receivable transactions okay so to navigate to get the ess job details there are a couple of ways so, but what you require is you have to navigate to setup and maintenance, search for the task name and like a manage enterprise scheduler job definition and job search for financial and supply chain management and related applications. Once you click on, once you get there, you just need to search. You just need to search with the ESS job name here. If you observe, I searched with the print receivable transactions job name and I could identify that particular one here. If you observe, it says the execution type as PL SQL. So the logic of this particular ESS job name is this is a parent job actually. So this is not providing any output for a, for the business user. It calls another child job, which, which is a BI report that provides output for us. So we have to be very careful, you know, like what is a master job as what is a child job and which one we are considering okay so as i said you that was not the one so let let me show you another one so when you run the report actually print receivable transaction it calls another one called print receivable transaction invoices so this is for the purpose of invoking the invoice report which we are want to customize okay click on that and click on edit pencil icon now it tells you what is a report id so now what we have to do so we know the report id so you just need to go to that particular path again you know like you'll have a you'll face good amount of confusion, but be very careful in the identifying a path, okay? So this is a path of the child job which on which we want to perform a modification. Okay, so now here if you observe, that was a path. So the easiest way or you no, know, the couple of ways, what you can do is here if you observe, I just navigated to that particular path and I could see this particular, you know, like uh, the list of templates. So in our case, the requirement is just to modify a template, add some logo, that's what, that is what we want to achieve. We don't want to change any business logic at this point of time. Okay, so now here if you observe, I'm in this particular folder, shared folder, financial, receivable, trans receivable, bill, presentment. Okay, so the name here, the name here is invoice print template, but the XDO name is different, default invoice XDO. So we have to be very careful because by just name, if you just search with the name, you will not get what you're looking for, right? So, but we have to be very careful and find out the XDO name. If it is matching with what you're looking for, then yeah, this is the correct one. So, and then what you have to do, click on more. So now here, if you, if you observe, I'm in the this location, shared folders, financial, receivable, bill, bill, presentment. Click on customize, click on more and click on customize. Once you click on customize, automatically it will create a path in the custom folder. Here, if you observe, so it is here, right? Slash custom financial transaction. And once you are available there, what you can do is just add the template what you're looking for. So here, one more important thing. So when you're working with a standard template, don't try to create a template from scratch. Just observe the existing standard template 
now in the in my case i just consider this default invoice as the standard template and just modify it on top of it okay so that's a very easiest way to do it okay so once you perform this particular modification just run the report so here if you observe right so this print receivable transaction is invoking these number of child jobs debit memo invoice credit memo again invoice so all these things okay so this is a output so here i just modified only the logo here and you know i could see the output from here okay and also other way also you can modify uh, you can just check it so i'll just show you that can you just see i'm in the review transaction billing invoice just click on view image which is able to see that latest template which we considered for the report okay i could see the logo here and i will show you like what have what all i have modified about what i'm talking about just click on catalog okay so here if you observe carefully so whenever you see anything in the shared folder except custom folder so whatever you see in the shared folder this is these all the things are standard jobs nothing but by default oracle provides for each module these set of jobs okay so whatever you generally see in the custom folder they are a customized folder customized set of reports which developer has done for the purpose of the custom requirements okay financials go to receivables bill presentment okay so this was the one invoice print template right so here if you object click on more and just see it when you click on customize i'll just click on customize and just see what will happen once you click on customize automatically it will navigate to the custom folder okay can you see automatically it went here in the custom folder so if you don't know like whether it is going there or properly what you do is always just copy the address in the copy the address of that particular one and you should be able to see that can you see custom right so this one way you can modify you can just see the path now here if you see the view as list so here this was a template which i considered for the modification okay so now let us say if you want to modify again what you can do is i just already have a template right i'll just rename it okay i'll just rename it because you can't you can't upload the same template again with the same name so i'll just say report as to okay now i just say I'll just modify some labels, okay? We'll do customer. Invoice, okay. Okay. I'll just try to change some more. So generally template designing will also take good amount of time. So we have to be very careful when you're trying to consider these things for your development. Template design generally takes more than your data model also sometimes, okay? Anyways, so this was the example. Click on upload. So select the template, okay? This is a template, RTF. I'll mention the layout name, this RTF template and english okay as of now here if you observe we just changed only label names and logo name but in real time that's not the only case you may have a different set of requirements also but now i'll just change it to pdf set it as default one okay so that when you click on view image or when you run the report you can select the i mean when you click on view image generally it will consider the default one as a template for uh, you know providing the output It'll, click on view image this time it has to select the new template which we uploaded just now okay can you see the logo this particular one which we changed it and other way also you can validate what you can do is go to the ess job okay schedule processes now Schedule new process. Print receivable. Transactions. I'll just copy the invoice number. So this is a master program, okay?
yeah so here i'll just select all mention the transaction number from transaction number to transaction number okay i'll just select no here and now here if you observe carefully in the invoice template it has to show the custom template which we considered okay so here we have to manually select it will not select by default by default it just shows the list of things based on the their particular order some custom order some standard order okay select the invoice template explicitly and yep click on submit okay 563 is a request okay okay i think nothing is considered here okay so that could be some other reason but what i can try to do is rather than entering the invoice number right we'll just run without entering the invoice number so yeah so the change job was not picked up so it could be some other reason but let's run the report again without entering the i'll just say all and here also I'll select our template and i'll say no and transaction type i can have i have an option to sell your yeah, transaction class i just select only invoice okay i just want to select only invoices all transactions to print only invoices okay and the template is this one so here actually this particular parent job can generate these four set of reports okay invoice credit debit and chargeback So if you want to customize credit memo, what you have to do is just need to find out the credit memo yes job, find out the definition, customize it, modify the template and same thing. Even for debit memo also same process. If it doesn't work, what we can do is you can just again go there and you can check any other invoice and you can check that. Okay, let it run so i can show you the navigation again if you are new to this one what you can do is click i'm just, I'll just navigating to home now okay click on home and go to receivables okay it went here. receivables click on building okay nice here if you observe right so it printed all this set of invoices just check any invoice which got completed okay so it printed these number of invoices we just want to check our invoice right so just see whether which template got selected that is still running probably yeah still running okay let, let it run yeah so once in the billing receivable trans receivables billing so whatever you see, right? These are all invoices. You can just select any of the invoice, but it has to be an appropriate status so that that can be visible. I mean, the view image button will be visible, else it will not be visible, okay? So here, if you observe, you don't see the view image button. It means that it is still in a, sub, a set of a set of state where you can't see where you can't see the output. I mean, you can't you can't you know like uh, click on that view image button. So what I can do is, I'll just say manage transactions. I think earlier we just I'll just search for this one of the invoice transaction number. Okay, I'll just select any of the invoice here. Yep. So once you click on view image, now it has to show the latest template. That's what we validated earlier also, but one more time, we're trying to do it.
Okay, I think it is. It took good amount of time now. Okay, so here, if you observe, it is still pointing to the old template, right? So not sure of the reason, but yeah. So ideally, it has to pick the latest template. So generally, this is a setting, right? So this is a setting latest template PDF. Yeah, once it once you perform this one, automatically it has to consider the latest template. So yeah. They're still running. You can check one more, and you know, like I'll just show you one more process. Let's try this. I think yeah started okay still it is referring to the old one but ideally we have modified it but yeah sometimes it takes to refresh or could, could be other reasons anyway so i'll just show you one more next step so so as of now we just modified only template okay but in real time template may not be the just modification required you may require to modify the data model also if it is a data model, what is the way we can do it? Okay, so the basic way what we generally do is for data model, you don't have a customized option. What we do is just click on the data model, perform a copy of the data model and paste it in any of the respective folders. Okay, so now here, if you observe the data model, which is used by this particular reporters, you know, like here we have an option called copyright. It says find out the data model of the standard report. Click on copy. Okay, once you click on copy, you can paste that in any of your respective, you know, like a location okay so here if you here if you observe what i've done is i just pasted that in a custom financial folder pasted in the custom financial folder and renamed that with a custom name okay and once it is done what you can do the next thing is you just need to point point that like uh, the custom template which we have custom temp to custom report which we considered just you know like make sure that that points to the custom data model so that's the only thing so once this is done you are able to see you know like you can just uh, validate you know like uh, you can just check out you can run the report again and validate whether your custom data model is getting kicked off or not so i just ran a report and i validated the custom data model uh, like whether it is calling custom data model or not what i have done is so once you run the report you can check the xml data click on download the xml data and find out this information here on the first line the second line the comments you can just see what's the data model if it is getting called so by this is one of the way you can very easily validate whether your custom data model or which data model it is getting called okay so this is how we can modify custom data sorry standard data model as well as standard data standard template so what we have learned so far like a process of identifying the bi report based on the ess job finding out the data of revision and template and validating the custom data model as well as template okay so yeah you can just check out this particular you know like uh, this meta link node to get some more insights into this particular process okay thank you